Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So we will continue looking at spreadsheet functions and we're going to be looking at the VLOOKUP function in this particular video. So lesson 12, VLOOKUP. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, lots of different ways the VLOOKUP can be used. And you, we have one, two, three, four different activities that we're going to be looking at in this video tutorial. So VLOOKUP is quite a popular function used in spreadsheets. Um, the best example I can give to you before I start looking up um, or using a VLOOKUP is imagine you want to call someone on your phone. So you're not going to be expected to remember people's numbers. So what you'll do is you'll go to your contacts list and you look up somebody's name and by selecting their name, you'll get their number and then you'll be able to call that person. So lookup value will be um, the name of the person you're looking to call. And this kind of works in a similar way to VLOOKUP. Um, it's VLOOKUP because it's going to be vertical. Uh, we're going to be dragging the formula down. So let's start. In the first example, we have student ID. We need to find name, house, color, and year. And all of the data can be found in this table array at the bottom. So what does the table array include? It includes the student IDs. So this one will match up to this one here. And in this column here, the second column, you've got the name, house color, and then a year. So let's go ahead and make a start. So it's going to be equals V lookup. Okay, so the V lookup is comprised of four parts. The first part is what is it that you're looking up? So I'm looking up this ID here, student ID, A00123. Um, so remember when we drag down a formula, we was then looking this cell and this cell and this cell. Comma, the table array, it's going to be this range of cells. But what we need to do always is to lock this table. So when we do drag down the formula, this is not going to move anywhere. So we can lock this. Actually, for the example, first example, I won't lock it and then you can see what happens. So what are we looking for? We were looking for the name. Um, it was behind here. So the name is in which column of the table? Uh, it's in the second column. Comma. And we want the exact match, which basically what it does is it looks up this value and it'll look for the exact out, uh, matching value here as well. So A00123 matches up with this cell here. Let me just close uh, the brackets. So we've got Sarah. Okay. If I drag this down, you can see it looks like we've got some names. But if I click on here, the table is moving down. So luckily, we still had uh, James, so zero, or C00769, so that worked. But what we need to do is we need to make sure we lock that table. So I'm going to do this again, but this is the proper way of doing this. So again, VLOOKUP, we want to find the name using the student ID. So let's go ahead and start doing that. So VLOOKUP, we want to look up the student ID comma the table array because i know the student name is in the second column we don't actually need to go all the way across uh, to the fourth column we can stick with this column here it doesn't really make a difference but if we just want a name we can stick to the first two columns let's lock this now so we've got a lookup value we've got a table array so what's happening now we're looking up this value in this table array comma in which column do we want to get the output from so the output is going to be from the second column okay so we can put in two and we want the exact match because the student id the lookup value exactly matches with the contents of the table array close the bracket job done i'll do the um house color so again v uh look up so we just click up here. So equals V lookup. Uh, again, a lookup ID. Um, we're not going to use the names just in case there's two names which have been repeated. We're going to stick to the IDs which are unique for each um, individual student. So that's going to be the lookup value. The table array, we want a house color. So what we can do is go across to the third column. Uh, we can lock this table since we don't want the table moving anywhere. The column index is going to be the third column now. And we want the exact match. And 
Sarah, she's in a red house. So her house color is red. Okay, let's just move on. The year you guys can do yourselves. This time here, we have these barcodes. But these barcodes don't exactly match up with the um, lookup values in this um, table array. So we want to find out the brand. Okay, so if it's A, it's going to be Nike, B, Adidas, and so on. So in this instance, what we're going to do is we're going to look up the barcode, comma. We will highlight the table array and unlock it, comma. The column index for the brand, so we want to refer to the second column. And for the last part, it's not going to be an exact match because these barcodes don't exactly match up with these uh, letters here. But we're going to use an approximate match. And what's going to happen is A is going to match up to this one here, which will then output um, Nike from the second column since we selected two here. Uh, this B will then be matched up to this B here, which will then um, output Adidas from the second column. So it's not an exact exact match. In this case, it's going to be approximate. And then we can drag this down. Done. Right. We have these percentages here, which will match up with these uh, values here. Again, it's not going to be an exact match because we don't have 96% in this table. But if we use approximate match, then 96 should return a star. Okay. Uh, 67 should return... A C grade, so it's not quite a B grade because you need to get 70 for B grade or above up to 80 um, or 79. Um, let me just change that to 80 for now. So 80, I expect to see A. So again, V look up. Let me just do it at the top. Equals V look up. want to look up the percentage so this value here and the table array is going to be this one here lock comma we want to output from the second column and then again it's going to be an approximate match I'm um, expecting to see an A grade okay so job done if I change it back to 96 then we should expect to see the A star grade Right, the last example for the VLOOKUP, um, we have staff name, pay rate. So this is going to be an exact match uh, with these values here. So A will mean to get £20 per hour, B 15, C 10, and D 5. So name, the lookup table is rate. So I'm going to give this table rate a name. So I can highlight these cells, right click, click on... Um, Define name, and we're going to call this rate. Use a VLOOKUP to work out each employee's pay rate per the hour. Okay, so equals VLOOKUP. We're looking up the pay rate here, matching it up with the table array. Let's lock it. So, actually, do you know what? When you name your table array or name any range of cells, you don't need to lock it because that's always going to be in that same position. And you can see the cell reference uh, range is not coming up. It's not showing um, O19 to P22. Uh, it's showing uh, the name that we've created for this um, table array. Comma, we want to output from the second column. And it's going to be an exact match. So what I'm expecting to see is um, 20. Okay, because it's A. Then what we need to do is multiply the pay rate by the hours worked. So the hours worked is in this column here. So after, sometimes you get people doing this inside of the brackets, trying to do a calculation. After the bracket, after you've got the um, pay rate, then you can multiply against the hours worked. And change that to currency. And we are done. So that was the, the VLOOKUP, guys. Um, hopefully that makes sense. But remember, there's four parts of the VLOOKUP. Um, the lookup value, what is it that you're looking up? The table array is where you'll find the lookup value as well as the data that you're trying to output. The column index is which column do we want to look at to find the data from. Okay, so which, in this instance, the name is going to be in the second column of what we've highlighted. 
And is it going to be an exact match? So if that's the case, the lookup value will also be in a table array and is exactly the same. If that's not the case, then it will be an approximate match. So like you saw in this example here and also the example of the grades. Right, guys, thank you for joining me in this video. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next. Please drop your comments below, like and share. And good luck if you have exams coming soon. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.